This thing came from deep space, not in our system, not from your Oort cloud or your Kuiper First belt. First time ever an object from interstellar space has been observed to visit our solar system. Asteroids, we know, yeah. uh, many of them, if not most of them, are loosely held together rubble piles. Uh -huh. And if they come near uh, gravitational sources, tidal forces can stretch them so that they become a stream oh, yeah, of particles sure. rather than just one solid mass. So and this so thing this is, isn't solid? This, it is likely not solid. What is it? But, but the, the signal we get from it is elongated, but it's probably a rubble pile stretched into that shape. Because mm -hmm. you don't get that by, by nature. You don't get that. This thing came in moving fast. Yeah. Fa it has escape velocity, a hyperbolic orbit. The reason why it's probably not aliens is its trajectory around the sun was completely determined by gravitational forces. If this were aliens yeah. in a, some kind of advanced ship, it would be maneuvering, doing interesting things. But maybe it already maneuvered on its way in. It was doing a close pass around the sun to get a whip and acceleration it would the be, way they use satellites to go around the back of a planet to whip yeah. them out into outer space. Yeah, you be, know how we use... We, yeah, it's it's called slingshot here. effect. Yeah, oh, yeah. You don't have to tell me. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so, so, okay, maybe the aliens shut off their engines to masquerade as a cosmic object to get a slingshot effect around our star. Maybe we can't perceive what their engines are and that they have a It mode. could be, I can just tell you they're off.